Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Anthony Co-Francesco from Data Dive, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through a handful of new feature updates across the Data Dive platform. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is a feature we've been working really hard on, and it really helps to see the overall evolution of what our PPC tool is going to be in the future. And this is the ability now to send PPC campaigns directly to Amazon. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to start on your settings tab on the left-hand side of the screen, and you're gonna to toggle this new feature, this new button, which is called Amazon Connections. Now, when you first start off, you're obviously not gonna have any connections, and so we're gonna to need to set those up for the first time. So the first thing you need to do is you need to select your marketplace from the drop-down menu, and then you're gonna select Add Connection. Once you get to the bottom of this box, you're gonna to have to click the checkbox, which is gonna authorize the connection, and then you're gonna select confirm. Once you've done that, you're now gonna see that Data Dive is connected to your Seller Central account. And so the next thing you're gonna to have to do is to connect your PPC account once the Seller Central account is already connected. So you're gonna click on the connect button, and then you're gonna click allow to sign in. At this point, you'll have now connected your Seller Central account as well as your PPC account. Both of these are now showing as connected. You can add as many connections as you'd like, and you can also remove any connections by just clicking on the trash icon. So what you're gonna do next is inside of your niche pipeline, select a niche that is in amazon.com, right? USA market. Then you're gonna go navigate to PPC campaigns and then select your PPC account from the drop-down menu. And then you're gonna be able to select the campaign portfolio from the drop-down menu to the right. Once you're all set up there, you can click on the button to send campaigns to Amazon. And once you click that button, keep in mind that this is gonna take a few minutes. It's not gonna be immediate, right? So just be patient. And you can also select bulk history progress and you can see all of the campaigns that you've done previously. So once you click on this screen, it's gonna show you uh, the progress and the most recent batches of the campaigns that have been created. And then now the campaigns are gonna show in your Amazon account under the campaigns page once they make it there. I also wanna give a quick use case. We have a generate setup link. And so if you're an agency or a VA and you're working with a seller that might be reluctant to give you direct seller central access, you can use the generate setup link. It's gonna copy that link to the clipboard. Then you're gonna click select add connection and then uh, go through, confirm, add it to the account, select allow. And so now you're gonna be co connected to the client's Seller Central and PPC through your Data Dive account. So a little bit easier of a way, if they're not comfortable giving you that direct login, you can generate that link, send it to them, and they can go through the authorization process uh, on their own. So the next feature that I wanna walk through is identify MKL keywords containing brand names. And so we've added this new brand button and basically, if you click it, now the program is gonna go through and identify uh, different brand names and areas where there are variations of the brand names included in titles. So this is just, again, a really quick way to chew through the data a little bit faster. Just keep in mind that this feature is not perfect yet, so certain brand names like Apple, it might not always get on the first go. Be sure to double check. We're gonna make this feature better and better in the future, but again, just a quick way you can go through now, identify those brand names, click exclude, and quickly exclude them from your master keyword list. So another feature that I wanna walk through is now you can right click on anything in the niche pipeline and, direct, and navigate directly to your favorite spots inside a data dive. So we've replaced that three dot icon. Now you can either click directly onto the hyperlink and it'll take you into that dive, or if you right click, now you're gonna see the most commonly navigated to spaces in your dive, and then you can navigate directly to there just from clicking the right-hand button. So in this case, the master keyword list is up at the top. You can also do other functionalities on top of navigating to the niche, including you can rename the ditch, you can delete the niche, you can export the niche, whatever you'd like to do. So just a little more functionality there. So another new feature is the ability to get Google search data when you're diving from the ace and tray. Kind of the problem when you're diving from the ace and tray is that our, our program doesn't quite figure out what's the main keyword that uh, you're working on. So if you go through and actually add that into your niche name as close as you can to Google search traffic, it's gonna actually automatically populate some of that in. 
So the process for doing this is going to be, let's say you're doing a dive from the ASIN tray, go through and add the ASINs that you'd like to have added to the tray. You can click the red button to remove those. Um, then once you've added those products to the tray, then you're going to select the data dive extension. You're going to click search on Amazon, and now you're going to get that custom page of only the different ASINs that you've added to the tray. Then you're going to go into X-Ray, right? You're going to select all the ASINs that you'd like to include in the dive. And then this is the key point is you're going to create a new niche name. Now, when you're creating the niche name, what you should do is try to try to make it as close as you can to the Google search traffic. Uh, whatever the keywords on Google search are going to be for that main keyword, you're going to click dive. And now it's going to pull in that niche name and it's going to bring you in that Google search data that is as close as possible to that niche name. So just a helpful little hack there. That's where I'm going to wrap it up today. That is our new set of new feature and usability improvements. I hope you learned something. And as always, I hope you'll stay subscribed in the future. There's going to be more to come and we'll see you in the next video.